everyone, thank you so much for coming back and joining me. Now in today's video we are going to be talking about something that I grew up on that is so nostalgic for me and was literally like my childhood and I constantly watched it on back in the time I feel old on my VHS tapes. <laughs> so we are going to be talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and as you can probably tell, yep, I am a big fan. Apparently now we are getting a female called Jenica and she is going to be joining as the fifth Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I have had to calm down a bit guys um, since finding out this information this morning. Let's just go ahead and get this video started. First of all guys, I really want to give out a quick shout out to the YouTube channel called Salty Cracker. Um, he's a friend of mine, we did a collab together about a, a two or three weeks ago and he is the first person that I saw upload this and I checked and he is the only person that has uploaded it so far so he was the first one to get to this news. So thank you to him for this information even though it's bad news. <laughs> Please check out his channel, I will put it in the description box below. If you like my channel, you will love his and he's 10 times more funnier than I am. Now, I have loved Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles all my life. I still love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I actually always watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie, every year for summer. So I had planned to watch it within the next sort of week or so anyways. And I also love The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and just in case anybody didn't know, but Uncle Phil in it, that plays the character Uncle Phil, his name's James Avery, he actually voiced Shredder in the cartoon animation in the 80s. And I'm pretty sure that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animation came out in 1987 and that was when I was born. I was born back in 1987. I'm an 80s baby. And of course I have always known the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as you know, four. There's four of them, right? And to me there was always a, another character, a fifth character, which was female, which was of course April. And you know, April of course was always helping the turtles um, and you know, I, I've seen April as a part of the, the, the gang, I suppose you could say, part of the group. And of course she was in the movie as well. Now I haven't actually read the comics guys, so you know, I can't sit here and you know, give out as much information as people who have seen the comics, um, so you can educate me below. I think that might have been out a few years previous to um, the animation, uh, the cartoon in 87 that started. But I don't understand why all this pandering is going on. Every morning I wake up, I'm seeing in my feed on, on YouTube or whatever you want to call it, female this, female that, female James Bond, uh, all female cast of this and that. You know, have we not learned from things like Ghostbusters 2016? Have we not learned from all of this? Now, one thing I will say though, in the 90s, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles did actually try this with a character called Phoenix de Milo. So, um, or Milo, or however you want to pronounce it, right? Phoenix de Milo, right? And she was a girl, she was a girl turtle um, for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? Now, they failed at that, but they're still going to go and trap this. Now, the new character, the female Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, is called Jenica. And I'm just going to read out from an article, you know, basically about her character, just a really quick rundown. So, basically, Leonardo performs an emergency blood transfusion into... Jenna or Jenica, saying here, right? Hoping Leo's, Leonardo's mutant blood would be enough to do the trick, right? So the transfusion proved to be successful with Jenny surviving, um, but it had the unexpected side effect of transforming her into a turtle, and I will put up a picture um, in, a, in my video. Then it also goes on to say, you know, that she becomes a member of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but you know, I, I just think this is silly because it's all for pandering reasons and the thing is with the turtles, the four of them, they all have, you know, their different little personalities in, you know, the group of them and, you know, they just get on like brothers acting up together and, you know, they're always, you know, fighting amongst themselves and things and trying to, you know, competing, you know, I'm better than you sort of type of thing, just like brothers do. So imagine a, like a girl being introduced uh, and coming along and interrupting there maybe in the middle of telling you know like j jokes or something like that or getting on like just dudes right Calabunga dude right <laughs> and they 
or she's just going to walk in and ruin the joke and say, oh, what are you saying that for? And then another thing is she's then going to want to compete and say, no, I'm the best fighter. I'm better than you, Leonardo. I'm better than you, Donatello. And, you know, Raphael's not as good as me at fighting. Did you not see me out earlier today fighting on top of that building? You know, it's going to be things like that. And let's face it, we have seen this time and time again. They do not introduce female characters to build upon a story arc or build upon characters or make something good or make something better. They do it because they want to dumb down men. And this is exactly, this is not going to be an, a different example. Guys, this is going to be the same thing we're going to be getting. And it's going to look like women are strong. Women can do everything. That's what it's going to look like. And apparently she's going to be wearing a yellow um, bandana. So, you know, I, I can't really go too much more into it, guys, than, you know, I haven't read the comics of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All I can say is, when I was younger, I watched them on VHS. I have a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stuff. I used to have a couple of um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle um, t-shirts, um, but I don't have them anymore because I kind of wore them to wore them to death. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely, I am so annoyed because I know why this is being done. And you know, I know people are probably going to say in the comments, but April, but we're not talking about a female character aside from them. We're, I'm talking about this is actually going to be a turtle that's going to be a fifth member of, you know, their gang. So that doesn't make sense because April already to me, I've got a really sore throat, guys, I don't know what's going on. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, April was already part of the gang. So we already had a female character and I liked her. I thought she was a good, strong character and good part of the team. So I don't understand what on earth they are thinking by doing this. I can't see it working. I like them four together. I like them bickering and I like, uh, you know, them fighting together. What way is it going to work? They're going to be up in the building top, right? In one of the episodes, I can just imagine, right? And then it's going to be the, all them four are you know struggling and they need help and then she's going to come along and save the day and be like oh my gosh I always have to come and save your skins you know like the whole kind of like you know latest x-men uh dark phoenix movie they were like oh you might want to change the men uh, the name to x-women now I didn't actually go and see that movie I was excited and hyped for it and anticipating it but then when I heard all that nonsense I just thought no I am not going to pay my money for a ticket for this woke behavior I'm just not so I don't know guys I'm annoyed because this is big part of my childhood, very nostalgic for me, very 80s and you know I am 32 years of age and that is how long I have known uh, for the Turtles to, to, to have been around. Obviously I know there was comics before that but since I was born guys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has been the four of them. So why all these years on, oh, well over 30 years, well over three decades worth we have went fine. Why are we having to have another turtle that's a female. It is getting so ridiculous. Anyways, let me know down in the comments what you think about this and would you be interested in seeing Jenica as the next turtle? It's ridiculous. Let me know guys and I will speak to you all soon but until then don't forget that the force will be with you always. I am so annoyed so I'm gonna go guys. Bye!